In the previous videos, we were using the legacy media uh, player to export and render. In this one, I'm going to show you how to set up so you can have the movie render queue, which is a little bit more complicated, but it's definitely worth it, especially if you have a scene with lots of action. Uh, you're going to see a lot of choppiness and the kids will complain that their video doesn't look good. So first thing you're going to do is go to the plugins folder, type in movie render queue. And this will, uh, you just find it, make sure you check it off, and then it'll ask you to restart. And make sure you do get your kids to restart right away. And so I'll do the restart now. It'll reboot. It doesn't usually take too long and usually reopens. Uh, one thing you want to make sure is if kids bring in assets like this, uh, make sure you show them how to go and get them in the maps folders. Um, I, I'll probably make a video on that actually. So what we're going to do is I usually use PNG. So I'm going to delete the JPEG sequence and probably they're both the same. It's just a habit and maybe you want to try it that way. Um, but you know, there's a lot of things that we can add or not add. I'm going to show you that what I use for super basic and here, this is important that you realize is we're going to be using an image sequence. So it's not going to export a video file, but a series of about two, two 300 images. So uh, under anti-aliasing, which is really important to add, I'm going to, I usually put three and five, and I believe the top one, if there's a lot of motion, you can increase it to five. Just be aware that whatever number you put, it'll be slower. And uh, also uh, double check and click off uh, override anti-aliasing. Output settings are really important. And usually I do it in 4K. And what I'm going to do here is check where I'm uploading uh, my video to. For my students, I make them do it under Google Drive, but whatever folder you have, do that. And I'm gonna create a folder. It's really important that every export I do, I actually create a folder. And you need to change these every time. Otherwise, you're gonna have files all over the place filling up your computer. Um, now, 1920 by 1080, what I've noticed is you can do that, but I find it's higher quality. It's up to you. Maybe you want to get your students to export it as uh, 4K, which is 3840. Um, give me a second here. I'm going to go check. I'll go 3880. Fix that, 3840. And it's uh, 2160 is 4K. So I'll probably render this down a size to 1080p when I bring it into Premiere Pro, uh, but it has higher quality. It looks better if you uh, render it out this way and then switch it to 1080p. Um, so I'm gonna save the sequence settings for my uh, project. And this will remember it for next time, but remember you need to change the export folder every time because if you're using uh, image sequences, you need to create export two, export three, export four, and then bring it in. This assumes, by the way, you have a software where you can upload image sequences. Now, I know that in Premiere Pro, I can do that. So I use Premiere Pro to do this. And I'll show you, I think I show, all right, just, oops, I hit the wrong button here. I, I had a render, but I want to hit uh, render local, and then it'll take a few minutes to render this. And I'm going to show you this render versus another render. And so here's Premiere Pro. I'll show you how you do it in Premiere Pro. Uh, other softwares, I'm not sure. So what you do is you open your project like you normally will. Go to Import. Click the first image sequence. That's the only thing you need to be aware. Don't click like the eighth one. You click the first one and then check off that little box. And it creates it just like a movie sequence. Well, it is a movie sequence. Drag it in. Now remember, this is not. This is 4K. Maybe you want your students to downsize it to 1080p, you know, and it looks pretty good. And, you know, you could play with the anti-aliasing if you feel that it's not perfect. Um, you know, go 5.5 five or 3.8, you know, not an expert. So I would just say, yeah, look, it looks quite good. Really happy with that. Uh, just remember that the settings you have in here are sometimes a little lower. Right now it's half quality. As you see, there's a one, two there right underneath the black screen. 